Meanwhile, a local Durham minister and activist is using the symbolism of Columbus to open the discussion about creating a statue that would serve as a counterpoint to a controversial Confederate statue on downtown, on display downtown. WNCNC Sprasia has more. So this is a bad, very poor representation of the South, and it needs to come down. And that's the reason he stood next to the statue with a thumbs-down reference as his friend snapped his photo. But some think a statue like this does serve a purpose. When we start messing around with history, then things kind of get lost in the mix. Tear it down or we shut you down. In Chapel Hill today, students rallied around the statue of Silent Sam, calling for its removal. I want them to take a, a wrecking ball to it, honestly. Now, more than likely, that won't happen if and when they remove it. But in Durham, Minister Paul Scott has a different idea for this statue. I want to see a statue right next to it, so when you're walking by, you'll be immediately reminded that my ancestors suffered. Under, under the people who wore that same uniform. Ideally, he says, it would be something to recognize what's becoming known as the African Holocaust. We are calling for a Ma'afa memorial. And Ma'afa is a Swahili word that means a time of great suffering. And Minister Scott says he sent emails to the Durham County Commissioners, the City Council, and other agencies asking them to open the discussion to look at erecting a counterpoint to this statue. Like other Confederate statues around this area recently, this one's been vandalized by some opposed to its presence. But others say we're becoming too narrowly focused. It's a shame that there are other issues, in other words, that need to be taken care of other than just whether a statue stands or a flag flies. In Durham, Steve Sprager, WNCN News.